My name is Russell Wong. I'm going to do a quick presentation on Keysight's Distributed Infrastructure System Emulator, or DICE, which lets you realistically emulate an entire data center fabric network using a single white box switch. This presentation is based on a customer scenario. This diagram shows eight emulated switches connected in a three-tier network with spine, pod, and top of rack switches being emulated by a single physical switch. You don't need to set up, connect, and manage eight different physical switches and you don't need to rewire them every time you want to try something different. Anything that you can do with this network of switches, you can do with this one box. We call it the DICE Fabric Emulator. In today's presentation, I'm going to show the effect of congestion control on RDMA traffic. In a 2015 paper, researchers at Microsoft and Mellanox set up a, ne a physical network of eight Arista switches and five hosts and ran experiments on them to demonstrate that priority flow control on its own has a problem of unfairness. They also demonstrated that a combination of PFC and explicit congestion notification makes the network work more effectively, including fair bandwidth allocation. We can emulate this using the DICE Fabric emulator. In this setup, we've got three hosts and a single receiver with the hosts doing RDMA writes so sending traffic to the receiver through the data center fabric. We configure the emulated network using these te text-based declarations on the right. The diagram on the left then shows the emulated network. Everything is running at 100 gigabits per second. In this configuration, we have PFC enabled and ECN disabled, and we're using a single priority. To generate the traffic, we're using the perf test tool originally from Mellanox to generate the RDMA write requests using Rocky V2. We've configured these switches to use three tuple hashing so that the packets on each flow will follow a fixed path. The flows for hosts one and two will follow the same path and the same set of links arriving at the same spot on this switch, while host three has its own link. To simulate the hosts and the receiver, we're actually using a single physical host with four Mellanox Connect5 smart NICs using four network namespaces to keep the NICs separate. And these are the scripts that we're using to set up the receiver and each of the sending hosts. So if we start traffic, we can see what happens. The diagram highlights the links where packets are flowing and it shows the received throughput at each emulated port. Because we've emulated PFC on each of these switches, while leaving ECN disabled, the queues on these two ports here and here fill up, causing PFC pause frames to be sent upstream. Because PFC operates on the entire link rather than individual flows, what happens is that the two input ports each get half the bandwidth. So the flow from host three gets twice as much bandwidth as each of these two flows. According to the paper, we can use ECN to resolve this unfairness problem. So let's try that. Let's enable ECN and reapply the configuration. What this does is it clears the configuration for the fabric emulation and reprograms each of the emulated switches. Once the configuration is done, the traffic resumes, and we immediately see that the unfairness problem is resolved. Each of the flows is now getting about one third of the bandwidth. This concludes the demo of Keysight's DICE Fabric Emulator.